Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a simple setup that I use sometimes when I design because this makes it a lot of fun. Now, so now I'm working within Cycles Render, and Cycles is really a blast because the render is really great. But what happens is a lot of times I want to see what I'm doing, I want to see what the rendering actually looks like, but I want to be able to edit. So when you're in Cycles Render like this, you have to make sure that this is set down here to be able to display what you want. Let me click on this and you see I have this right here set to material mode and up here I have this window set to rendered mode. So if I'm in rendered, if I change this to rendered mode, actually it's going to mess up my recording just for a second. So I'll, I'll, you, I'll change this to material mode. Alright, so when I'm doing it in here, that's great but I don't see what's happening. But the nice thing about using a window setup like this is that you can see what's going on. So I can still come over here and navigate the scene in here with, let me ch change my view a little bit, there we go. So I can change the, my scene because I'm not moving the camera when I'm just navigating around and so it's not constantly updating. And that really helps a lot. Not only that, it's much easier to pick your objects when you're in here. Otherwise, you can do it in here, but you're guessing sometimes. I mean, I can click, right click here and I can see that it's changed because I have my material window open on this side. But if you have a lot of objects in the scene, sometimes you're guessing or you have to end up picking your objects up here with the left mouse button. So this is really a nice way to work because then you can just come in here and change things. Now if I do modify the mesh, you're going to see a change in the other window at the same time. Well, that's really nice because if you just take a look at the time that's required, if I just move this object here, I'll just move it in here and you'll if we see how much time it takes to render that that's pretty quick all right and I'm only actually I'm only on the CPU rendering for the moment so and then but if I change it over here to look at it in rendered mode it's quite a bit slower so that really slows down my productivity all right and so for those of you who are new to blender and don't know about cycles and GPU rendering it's so powerful it's it's worthy enough to just take another quick look so you come up here to file and you go where's my user preferences right here and I'll move this over so you can see I have CUDA I guess I do have it set G, I have CUDA set in here but if you have it set at none it's going to work off your CPU like this and then the other thing you have to make sure is so I save that and then when you're actually doing the rendering you have to come over here to the render button like in here let me move this over just a little bit so you can see down here and actually I don't have it set so right in here this device is CPU so you have to drop down and pick GPU compute you can see how long it took well is that no super fast let's see CPU well actually probably a better way is to watch it down here I'll put it in CPU mode and turn this into render and let's see how long it takes generally okay and now I'll put it in GPU compute mode and just swap it out and a lot faster I mean a lot faster so yeah absolutely make sure you're in GPU compute mode if you're doing cycles base work it's just it's, it's just a blast and so th this setup works great for me or this might instead of being a wireframe window wireframe is actually useful in a lot of cases in case you have hidden objects inside other objects and uh, but otherwise, sometimes I'll use this as a UV map window as well. Okay, well, that's just a few pointers for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.